Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So the shiny new iPad mini 6, it looks amazing and is super powerful. In this video, let's look at seven things which this iPad mini 6 does better than other iPads in Apple's lineup. Starting right off with portability. It's not just a super lightweight, it's a smaller footprint as well, which makes handling this iPad mini 6 a breeze. Especially if you're used to working with bigger iPads, you straight away feel this as soon as you've unboxed it. Tiny nooks and corners, your medical lab coat pockets, the tiny cockpit of your Cessna, or the control platform of Windmill, the iPad mini 6 feels right at home in all those tiny confined spaces. The Mini is also so light that weight is almost irrelevant. It's same as carrying a novel or a bonded school notebook. This is something which none other iPads can simply compete with and the iPad Mini 6 is the true champion of portability. Next is gaming. Honestly, iPads with all those graphical capabilities and processing power are not very comfortable for handheld gaming. Plus, the thin form factor of the redesigned iPad Air and iPad Pro doesn't help. The best gaming mode for regular iPads is propping them on a desk and hooking up a gaming controller. But not with the iPad Mini 6. This device feels right at home when it comes to gaming. With its perfect screen size, which is not too small as the iPhone where everything looks cramped, nor too big as other iPads to make it uncomfortable, this Mini 6 is amazing for handheld gaming. In fact, it is the best portable touchscreen gaming device currently available in the market. It has the right amount of bezel to rest your fingers comfortably without touching the screen. And adding a simple silicon case like this ESR gear clear sleeve, it gives you the perfect grip for those lengthy online gaming sessions with your mates. Next is iPad photography. Yes, despite how uncomfortable this is, there are many who use iPads for taking pictures and videos. I've seen it in concerts, parks, conferences, lecture halls, where people whip out their huge slabs and snap pictures and videos with it. But with the Mini 6, it all of a sudden becomes much more natural. The smaller footprint makes iPad photography not that awkward or uncomfortable. Plus, you get a decent viewfinder via that 8.3 inches touchscreen. Actually, this Mini would have certainly benefited with a nicer camera setup, maybe the dual lens setup borrowed from the iPhone 13 series or the iPad Pro. The front camera is better than its bigger brother iPad Air, supporting ultra-wide view and center stage functionality. Center stage is this cool feature where the camera pans and moves along with you during video calls and it automatically adjusts if someone else joins in. Very useful for family FaceTime calls. Next is all that power in a small form factor. The iPad mini 6 is currently the most powerful tablet available for its size. The A15 Bionic is a beast of a processor and the way it makes everything so smooth on the iPad mini is just incredible. I've tried editing 4K videos shot at 30 frames per second via LumaFusion app without a single glitch or lag. Actually, the mini was churning through 4K video clips as if they were one pixel images. This mini is as powerful as its bigger brother the iPad Air 4 and currently is the smallest tablet available to buy with such huge power under the hood. Next is ebooks. Novels, course materials, textbooks, churning through all of them on the mini is an absolute dream. I usually make it a point to read at least a few pages every day and I used to do this on my 11 inch iPad Pro. After doing this on the Mini 6 for the past few days made me realize what I was missing. The lightweight of this Mini makes it totally effortless to hold the device in your hands for extended periods of time. This convenience is something which no other iPads can match. Next is charging and battery. Have you ever noticed the charging times on normal iPads? The battery really is a tank and it takes forever to charge even with the included 20 watt fast charger. Now the Mini 6 gives you the same all day battery life as the bigger iPads but it's got half the size of the battery in comparison. So charging it takes half the time. And you do get the same 20 watt USB Type-C charger included in the box. 
so pretty decent here. You're all covered and you can enjoy quicker charging times. Finally, Apple Pencil Gen 2 usability. See, the iPad Mini 6 gets full support of the amazing Apple Pencil Gen 2. It perfectly attaches magnetically to the side, pairs and charges that way too and is very smooth and responsive despite the 60Hz refresh rate on the iPad Mini 6. And when it comes to usability, it is totally possible to hold the iPad Mini 6 in one hand and jot down notes with the other. This is super useful for students who wish to take notes on the go. So guys, these are the seven things which I found the iPad mini has a slight edge over other iPads. So what are your thoughts on this? If you have anything else to add, make sure you put it down in the comment section below. And if you have made it till here, then I certainly have intrigued you with my content. And I do promise that there are many more videos like this on my channel with some amazing accessory reviews. So a sub to the channel will be simply amazing. And whilst you're there, do hit that like button. That will be immensely helpful to me. So that's all for now. As always, thanks a lot for staying with me until the end. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.